The busy South Circular of Madrid, on which the stadium is sited. There's also a river running close by as well, the River Manzanares, known, translated as Apple. So we're in the Big Apple here in the Vicente Calderon, a magnificent stadium with the two video screens, one at each end on this main grandstand side. 70,000 the capacity, every spectator is seated here. Celtic come to the Vicente Calderon Stadium at full strength. Paul McStay ready to play despite a family bereavement which prevented his arrival here until last night. And Paul McGugan, the 21-year-old centre-half, ready for his European baptism despite stitches in a head wound. Atletico Madrid's best-known figure is their new goalkeeper, the Argentine Ubaldo Filiol, a World Cup winner in 1978. Da Silva, a Uruguayan international, was top scorer in the Spanish First Division two seasons ago. Marina, the number 11, is the one Atletico player in Spain's squad for next week's World Cup decider against Iceland. Danny McGrain, the only survivor from Celtic's last visit here 11 years ago. The second leg of that brutal European Cup semi-final during which Atletico had three players sent off in Glasgow. Referee is Volker Roth from West Germany. Celtic's 23rd European season is underway. Well, Kike got the better of Davy Proven then. Here's Julio Prieto. Landaburu. For Kike, 
Five players waiting for the cross. And Da Silva is one, and Bonner kicks it behind for the corner. Eight minutes gone. Jorge Da Silva, the Uruguayan striker, working his way close to the Celtic goal towards that near post from his point of view. And it's led to a corner. And a free header goes a begging for... Marina, Setien, and Julio Prieto arriving from the back. Landabaru! Atletico Madrid not short of height, four set pieces. Landabaru! And Bonner at the second attempt. And look here for the height of Paul McGugan. Six foot four inches tall. For Celtic number five. And it comes for him. Not perhaps in the way he expected either. Unable to bypass Julio Prieto. Tomas. Setien. And onside is Da Silva against McGrain. And Bonner beats it out, and Atletico Madrid... Setien, Celtic giving him time to turn. That could be costly. Cabrera, Marina, and Setien! It was costly. Thirty-four minutes gone, and the Vicente Calderon Stadium awash with the red and white flags now. Setien started it, he got it back in the end from Marina, and buried it under Pat Bonner. Problem. Here's Grant. And now McGray. Neatly constructed this by Celtic. But with three waiting for the cross. Marina. And it was McClare who was waiting to pounce. And Arteche. And kicked over the bar from Arteche. And Bonner comes this time. It drops for Landaburu. And it was Arteche. Julio Pieto. Cabrera getting between the two central defenders. And McGugan got back. We're all back. And it's Da Silva. And it's wide to a roar of disappointment from the Atletico supporters. And gasps of relief I'm sure for Celtic supporters watching at home and it may well be that Roy Aitken had his name taken as well after the half-time whistle had gone that was the last action of the half and Celtic might feel they're lucky to go off just the one down although Atletico The half-time break giving Celtic the chance really to settle back to their good work early on in the first half, but they might be caught here. McGrain backpedalling, Da Silva. It was an attempted shot. It turned out as a pass that almost dropped Marina's way. And leading the burst forward for Celtic was Peter Grant. McClare. Well, there haven't been many strikes at goal. In with the left foot again. Teche and Rui waiting to make their runs. Setien is there as well. And Arteche with Bonner. Hesitate. Aitken and McStay working the short free kick with a bit of improvisation. And Aitken opting to pass when perhaps he might have shot. And a curler coming in from McLeod.
McClare. De Silva. Grant in the thick of it again, and Johnston could be away here. He had to take the shot early, and he was off target, and perhaps Celtics get by any means. Grant, Proven to his right, but he couldn't twist in that direction. Johnston can, though. And here is Davy Proven. And Filios lost it. Johnston! A tremendous blow for Celtic. They've struck back here. And Morris Johnston, who has averaged a goal a game this season, keeps up that record. It's his 10th in 10. And Proven, it was a perfect cross. It invited the header. And they're here to see it. And very orderly, I must say, but very... Kike. So here's Rubio's first contribution to find Kike. And so nearly an own goal by Aitken. By Johnston. Rubio who's a left-sided player, McGugan, penalty. Paul McGugan in his first European game. Clumsily, a little naive, really, in his momentum. Rubio wasn't really going anywhere, initially threatening. And it was just inside the box. He was always wanting to fall. And Rubio himself will take the penalty. And Bonner saved it! He certainly seemed to move, but the referee has pointed for a corner and not for a retake. And Celtic must settle as the crowd tries to take in what happened there. Buzzing as Proven takes one of those curling free kicks. Aiken missed it. And McLeod volleyed over by Rubio. It's not gone his way since he came up as he was at the start. Proven. Well, Setien looked very weary. <laughs> Proven and a McStay. A very good night indeed for Celtic to hold Atletico Madrid here. Morris Johnston with the equaliser 20 minutes from the end to the first half goal for Atletico by Setien. And surely the result to boost the Celtic players who must now go through the strange experience of trying to win the tie at Parkhead behind closed doors. The final score in the Vicente Calderon Stadium as the Celtic players congratulated for their performance, and rightly so, it's athletic. No, 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 no. A ver qué dice. Dice que no tengo nada. Pedro, ¿pero qué quieren hacer? ¿Qué es un rollo Pedro? ¿Qué es un rollo Pedro? ¿Qué es un rollo Pedro?